Hey baby name lovers! So today I decided it'd be a good day to make a video. I just had a final exam. So I'm almost done my semester, completely 100% fully done. My next and last exam is on Friday. So I decided it'd be a good time. Um, to make a video, so that's what I'm gonna do. If you can see any boxes behind me, just ignore them. They're, um, Michael's brother is getting married and um, they're just storing some stuff here for their wedding here. So if there's any boxes back there, that's what that is. So this is the BC. I live in BC in Canada. I live on the West Coast. BC is like really a uh, really big place, but I would say like 98 well, okay, I'll say 90% of the population live within, like, 50 miles of the U.S. border. I'm one of those people. Um, so, yeah, if you don't know anything about BC, uh, it stands for British Columbia. <laughs> kind of like District of Columbia. When we were in Hawaii and, like, people would say, where are you from? We'd say BC, and they're like, oh, you're from DC. Because <laughs> I guess they're not used to hearing BC, you know, because it's in Canada and not in the States. Um, but yeah, um, where, where I live, it's really, really, it's rains a lot. We're, you know, we're in the Pacific Northwest. So it's really rainy, but the weather is super mild. Like right now, it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, <clears throat> if we get snow, it's usually only once a year. And it's gone within like three days, melted and gone. Um, so not like the poor people in the, you know, on the East Coast and, um, you know, maybe in like the Midwest areas too. I, I don't know if there, it's still snowing there, but it's, we we're very lucky to live in such a mild climate right on the, right on the coast, right? So, you know, we're right by the Pacific Ocean. It's, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, so these are the top 20 names from British Columbia. Number one for girls was Sophia. Number two was Olivia. Three is Emma, four Emily. Again, very very similar. Number five is Maya. Um, six is Ava, and seven is Chloe. Eight is Zoe, and that's you know obviously that that one's not too popular in the states. And I again haven't heard any Zoes, but I mean I'm not around like everybody's children. <laughs> But yeah, I, have, I haven't heard Zoe around at all. And to me, I definitely would not pin that as one of the most popular names here. But it is. Um, number nine is Hannah. And 10 is Isabella. Um, number 11, Avery. And I've heard like two Averys in the past like week. So 12 is Brooklyn. 13 is Amelia. 14 is Lily, and uh, my friend had a baby last year in August, and she named her Lily, so she's one of those ones. Um, 15 is Abigail. 16 is Sophie, which is really, really popular. 17 is Haley, which to me sounds like such a 90s name, or like late 90s, maybe even early 2000s. Like, it doesn't seem like a name that you'd hear very often on children now. It seems like names that, like, if somebody is named Haley, I would picture at least, you know, like a 10-year-old. Um, but mostly probably around, you know, my age, like late teens, early 20s is what I would picture as a Haley. Um, not, not a baby, but obviously it is. Um, 18 is Madison. 19 is Charlotte, and 20 is Sarah, which absolutely surprised me because, I mean, when do you hear Sarah nowadays? Like, never. Like, it's always with uh, w uh, girls that are my age, like in their 20s, because it was so unbelievably popular in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I mean, really, that shocked me. It did. And kind of depressed me because Sarah is so overused in my age range, you know, that it's just, I'm so tired of it. I mean, yes, okay, it means princess. It kind of is a sweet, girly, you know, little name, but it needs to go, in my opinion. Um, actually, a lot of these names do because they're just like Emily and Emma. Like, okay, come on now. They're way overused now. Let's be honest, okay? I think we can all, even if you love the name, you have to admit that it's overused. So number one for boys is Ethan. Number two is Jackson, which yeah, oh yeah, Jackson is deaf. I can I can I can um, attest to this that Jackson is popular here. And number three is Lucas. 
Uh, and number four is Liam, which is also, yes, you hear Liam quite a bit around here. I don't know why Liam really took off, but you know, it did. Why do any names start trending, you know? And number five is Mason. Number six, Aiden. Seven, Logan. Eight, Alexander. We all know my huge love for Alexander. Note the sarcasm. Number nine is Noah. And 10 is Jaden. So Aiden and Jaden are in the top 10. Um, I like Jaden for a girl. I think it sounds more girly because it starts with Jade. Like w when I first heard it, I'd only heard it on girls. And uh, it wasn't a popular name either way, but I'd known, I had known two, two or three girls with the name Jaden. And then all of a sudden it's like in the top 10 for boys. So yeah, that one kind of just, I think it was because of Jaden Smith. I think that kind of had something to do with it. He kind of put that on the charts and plus people are like, ooh, another Aiden name. Like people love those. So, um, and number 11 is Jacob. So, you know, it's slowly creeping down. I think, well, okay. So what I did is the same as what I did for the top 10, um, of 2011 for the top 1000 is I went through all of the names. Yes, it takes a while. I went through all of the names, recorded all of them added together all of the spellings because, you know, even if your name is spelt a really weird way or the uncommon, known uncommon way, it doesn't matter. It's still that name. So it should be included. So that's what I did. So 11 is Jacob, but on what it actually says, I'll post, I'll let you, I'll leave the link so you guys can go and look because there's actually some really fun names there that us British Columbians have named our kids. Um, obviously, you know, this is just one province. Keep in mind, Canada has a really small population, so, you know, there really aren't, like, too many babies being born because it's just one, like, British Columbia, well, it's a huge in size. It's um, not very big in population. And, but, you know, like I said, the majority of the population lives in one area of, of this place. So, yeah, we have provinces. We don't have states. I know it's really stupid. We have provinces, and then we have, like, uh, territories or something. It's like, what is the difference, people? Get your shit together. Make it one or the other, you know? I don't know. I can't even keep track of all the... I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so 11 is Jacob, but on the thing, it definitely says it's more. 12 is Benjamin. 13 is Jack. So Jack and Jackson are both very popular. 14 is Owen. 15 is Ryan, which again, seems kind of outdated if you ask me. Like, most Ryans are again my age. You know, it was popular in the 90s. 16 is Daniel, typical. 17 is Nicholas. How many Nicks do you know? I'm guessing you, you know at least three in your entire lifetime. At least three, if not more. So yeah, that one is, yeah. And 18 is Oliver. 19 is Caleb and 20 is James. So that's the top 20 from BC. And I'm not too impressed with it, to be honest. Uh, there are a lot, a lot, a lot of good names like um, that people used in general, but just not the majority of the names. So anyways, you guys can go check out the link. I know it's always fun for me to, when people say, you know, like at least in countries that speak English, like uh, England and stuff, because those names like you can actually pronounce. <laughs> it's fun to see the names that are popular around the world. So you guys can check out what names are popular from my corner of the world and all the names that were used. Um, you know, so yeah. So, um, yeah, my final exam is on Friday and then I'm done, yay, for the semester. And then I'll obviously be back in September. Three more years of school to go, just three. So, and then I'll, and then I'm done. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later, bye.